Obviously, it's been a, a great start to the season with those uh, back-to-back wins in the league. How are you all feeling about the way you've started them, and particularly the performances? Um, yeah, we're feeling good. We're not getting ahead of ourselves or anything. Um, it's only two games, and being at Celtic, we're expected to win every game. So, in, you know, in that sense, we can't really get carried away with these things. So, no, whole ap- whole atmosphere is good around the place, and um, yeah, we're feeling good. Kilmarnock this weekend, so a, a new ground for you and some of the players. Yeah, new ground, uh, Astro pitch, of course. So, not ideal for the body, but we got to get on with it, like everybody else. Um, and yeah, it's obviously been hot these last few days, so it's probably going to be dry. We're going to probably have to adjust to the to the conditions as well as we can. Um, and that's what we'll do, like we always do. Were you pleased to see Moritz get his goal at the weekend? Yeah, I don't know if you've seen the video, but I'm I'm very pleased. Uh, no, it's nice playing football with one of your long time mates, you know. So um, seeing him do well is just like seeing anyone. See, at Selwick, I don't really care who scores to be honest. You know, I'm I celebrate the same for everyone, but with Moritz, of course, it was that that extra bit special, of course. Yeah. You're just talking about the the pitch there and the fact that you think it's going to be dry. Obviously, with the way the the weather's been, what mm-hmm. adjustments in the sort of approach to the game and the build up do you have to make for a game like this? Um, I think approach is always the same. Um, we can only control what we do. You know, at the end of the day, Ross County was really dry as well. To be honest, they didn't they didn't water the pitch for us, so we had to adapt and we just have to try and move the ball as quickly as we can. You know, it's not going to be easy, but. I think we're capable of doing it, so that's what we'll try to do, mate. Hi, Matt. Um, I'm just wondering, um, there's a lot of competition for midfield places with Celtic, mm-hmm. but um, are you feeling uh, quite confident that uh, you're, you'll be able to sort of hold down that place this, this season, or especially when um, you know the, the, the World Cup is coming up? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm always confident in my own ability, you know. Um, but saying that we have a lot of football to play this season, so um, rotation in the squad's going to be important, you know, especially the way we play, the way we press, the way we play at such a high intensity. Not everyone's going to be able to play every, every game. It's just inevitable. It can't be like that. I'm obviously going to I'm going to try and play as much as I can, and I'm obviously every player wants to play as much football as they can. Um, and yeah, I think I've got got the ability to do that. Um, but irrespective of that, I think whoever does play is going to do a good enough job to help us win. And Kilmarnock this weekend, they um, did set out to frustrate Rangers last last week and did quite well in doing that for, for much of the game. Are you expecting them to adopt a, sort of a, a similar um, tactic in, on, on Sunday and it will be a case of, sort of having to break them down? Yeah, I think so. I think um, especially playing on their own, Home conditions as well. It's probably going to suit them more so. Um, and yeah, they've obviously got they got quite a lot of success against it for Rangers for large periods of the game. So, I, in my opinion, I don't see them changing too much. But we're going to be ready for whatever they do. You know, we we can only prepare for for what we can do. Um, and yeah, whatever they bring, we'll we'll try and be ready for. Hi, Matt. You've you obviously made a impressive start to the season yourself. Just how beneficial has it been to have a a full pre season under your belt? Yeah, it helps a lot. Um, when I came in January, I'd obviously played a lot of football beforehand, um, but also football which was in quite a different structure to what to what I'm playing in here. So I was happy that I adapted like at the speed I did. Um, but saying that, I've, I feel like I'm in a much better position now than I was before, both physically and in terms of understanding my role. I, I feel very comfortable within the team. Um, I've obviously known the boys now for a long time, so I feel more comfortable in terms of speaking with everyone like very naturally. Um, so yeah, in that sense, I think I'm, I'm in a good place and I feel like I'm at a higher level than I was before as well. So if I can keep making these constant, you know, small improvements, then hopefully put me in a good place. That's obviously something that's got to be really exciting for you with the, the prospect of Champions League football this season. You've really got a kind of platform this year to showcase your skills, really, don't you? No, definitely. I think... For me, yeah, it's genuinely a dream to play in such a high-level competition, um, especially considering where I was a year ago, for example, um, or even six months ago. So saying that, it's it's going to be a cool experience. It's like I can't wait for it, really. Matt, just on the 
international front. I mean, mm-hmm. is, the, is the World Cup a, a motivation for you as well, just to try and get yourself yeah. in the yeah. yeah. Definitely is. Um, it's not something I'm, you know, focused on every day, but it's definitely a target in the back of my mind. I think it's, for me, it's important to strive for these things. And I think with the position I'm in right now, it's a possibility to do so. So I don't see the point of not at least trying. Um, and then, yeah, whatever happens, happens. And when you talk about the Champions League there, is that particularly exciting that, you know, yeah. people from around Europe will be watching that as well? Yeah, definitely. Um, not even just that, just playing against, you know, the best players in the world. That's that's what I want to do and hopefully we can really test ourselves and just see where we're at in comparison to the other top teams. That's what I'm excited for. Hi Matt, how are you doing? Um, it was very noticeable, I think, last week to fans that even when the team were chasing a goal in the last 10 minutes, you were calm, you continued to play your mm-hmm. football. I guess you, you're getting to that stage now when you realise that, you know, when you face adversity, the answers are going to come in playing football. Yeah, no, definitely. And I think that's why it's important to be... I know it's tough from like a fan's perspective to see it as like a process and we all need that results mindset, which I which I agree with. But if we're just purely focused on results, then we're not going to be able to play at the level we want to. So for us being as, as process orientated as we can be, um, that should lead to better results on the pitch. And I think that's why you're going to see quite a lot of late goals as well, just specifically because a lot of teams are going to set up to stop us, in, especially in the Scottish League. So. It's going to take a while sometimes to break them down. Some games we might score early and it's completely different, but other games it might take a while, um, like against Ross County. And I think just those late goals are going to become a theme, in my opinion, just because we're going to wear teams out and we've got the calmness to do that. And just in terms of the process you're talking about, the, the messaging coming out of the club ever since Trophy Day has been about constant improvement. Mm-hmm. Do you feel personally that, that your game has improved since coming to the club and do you see improvement in your teammates? Yeah, yeah. Um, yes to both of your questions. I think, um, like I said before, I think I'm in a good place. Um, it's definitely the best I've felt physically. Um, you know, I've changed a few things diet-wise, tweaked a few things like off the pitch, which seems to seem to have helped. Um, and yeah, in terms of the football side of things, we all, we're all very clear on what we need to do because of the structure and the system we play in. So everyone's clear on that. So. Yeah, I feel like we're in a good place. I feel like everyone else is in a good place from, from what we've seen so far. It's still really early on, obviously, but um, yeah, I think there's a lot to look forward to.